Hi. Oops, where am I? Hello. Hi, everyone. We want to welcome you to our third installment of Steampunk Journal Making Craft with Us. Deb and I have been working on this for three weeks now, and I'll tell you, it has inspired us in so many ways. And uh, we just are uh, excited to have you join us. And hopefully we inspire you. And please uh, share with us what you're doing. If anything we're doing helps you, we would love to hear that. So Deb, why don't you tell us about what you're doing there? Well, last week I uh, did this, um, these papers that I wanted to punch the gears out or cut the gears out of with my gear dies. And um, they weren't all the way dry. So in the meantime, I did cut them out. Mostly it was it worked out really well. Um, I only had a couple that I had to actually go in with a knife and cut because the paint was so thick. So this is what it looked like to start with, basically. And yeah. then here's all my little gears I'm working on now. And what I'm doing right now, here it was one up close. How about that? Oh wow. So right now I'm actually putting some gold, uh, maybe some different colors of metallic, uh, these are metallic um, um, watercolors or Ganside Tombi. I don't know how the proper way to say that, water-based pigments. And oh, there are gorgeous. six colors and they are amazing. They are so pretty. Look at all these beautiful colors. Do you have the, is the cover there? Is there yeah, a cover? Right here. Just, oh, there we go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if you could hold that up and I could read it so that I know everyone else can read it. Well, I don't know if you could, let me, hold oh, on. I, hold on, hold on. Now, can oh, you read it wow. Little bit to the right or left. There we go. There we go. Start. Okay, perfect. That way, ladies, anyone out there wants to try to find it, there's the name and there's how it looks. And that is gorgeous. I've been watching her for a couple minutes and I am amazed at how well for watercolors that they actually, the pigment covers. Yeah, it's, it's very nice. And um, it has a white gold, which kind of looks like a pearl. And then a light gold, champagne gold, yellow gold, red gold, and blue gold, which wow. I don't know what blue gold means, but it's pretty. So <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just kind of touching them up a little bit to um, add a little bit. Because uh, see, like, here's another piece. It's hard to see on top of what I've got here. Where's something to put behind this? Uh, nope. Here. <laughs> so oh, this wow. is one of the pieces. This is one of the pieces I cut out. Uh -huh. and, um, normally this would make a, um, like a stencil. Right. But what I did was once after I cut it out, I trimmed around the edge, all around the edge of it. See, I can't, hold on, let me see if, how I look here. Okay, so I trimmed all the way around the edge of it and that made it a piece I can use instead of just- I think, I think you mean like this, huh? Cause I have the, I have a yeah. small one of that. Yeah. And I was going to do the same thing. I was going to mm -hmm. go in and create a small frame around it. Right. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. I cut this with a die and you've got a stencil. So yep. that, uh, it's basically the same difference, you know. So, but so anyway, that's a piece I can use on a corner. Then I have this um, gear piece that I can use on the corner. I've got two of those. Here's one that I did out of the paint. Oh, beautiful. I so love anyway, that I, pop of blue. I have to tell you, that's just. Yeah, gorgeous. I do too. I do too. In fact, I was thinking about putting a little touch more of that on there, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I think I like them how they are. And I'm doing the, <laughs> pretty cool, really. <laughs> I'm doing these um, to use on corners and and just places, places that I think are, are blocked or empty or whatever. Mm -hmm. So... Now, the other thing I did yesterday, I, um, uh, if you look at my last stream, I, I was using an airbrush to um, ink my pages. Right. And, and I went ahead and did one of them with the airbrush. And I am really pleased with how it turned out. Oh, wow. All these edges are done with the airbrush. So I did this whole uh, both of the I did both of these um, signatures for this this one at least what I have in here so far and I just I really like the way they turned out they so I'm real happy, real happy with that it uses a lot of um, I'm using um, I'll show this in a little bit but I just wanted you to see how it was looking 
So, okay. so I'm real pleased with that. Now this is the gentleman's. This is the gentleman's. Here's my gentleman right here. This is oh, his. there he is. His he is distinguished. Cute. I think he's cute. <laughs> <laughs> so, so anyway, that's um. I've already got his pages all inked. I have not done the ladies yet. Where is she? She's hiding in here. So, oh, here she is. I haven't done hers yet. So here's my lady. Oh, she's yeah. gorgeous. Yeah, I like her too. I think this was out of that um, Italian. Yes, it's Chow Bella. Yeah, yeah Chow Bella. I got uh, Voyages. Something yeah, I voyages. can never remember the names. I'm so bad about that. So I haven't done I haven't done hers yet, but I want to do a lot of uh, stenciling on hers. So that's probably what I'm going to do today is work on my stenciling as soon as I finish pulling around with these gears. So what are you doing? Well, I have a bunch of die cuts that I cut out, and then I also cut out some embossed pieces for layering. I want to do my um, edgies like you do. Uh, I learned how to do those from you in our first episode. And so I have some different things here like this that I embossed that I thought if I layered oh, yeah. the, the kind of like a Victorian wallpaper, or maybe not Victorian, uh -huh. I might be pushing it, but I just feel like this particular pattern could mm -hmm. lend to being Ooh. the the juxtaposition to the gears, right? Oh, I like so that. All that pop up. I'll layer them together, and I I die cut these. Uh, these they're supposed to be the die cut was for to make a book. Um, oh yeah, sort of flip book. Have you seen that one on Facebook where it I has? Have, yeah, I have seen one. Yeah, I bought it. I shouldn't have, but I'm trying to make make the best of it. I mean, you know, it just is what it is. You get you get enticed by something. But so I bought it. And what happened here is, is that I have the larger page, which is this one. Then there's a smaller die so that I can layer them. Right. And then I was actually thinking about sewing it in or gluing it and then put washi tape here. But these could be flaps. Plus, they could be pockets. Plus, they could go this way and be pockets. Right. So like that's. That. I figured I would start working on them. And then I did cut out the other thing. Oh, and I have the one ticket. <laughs> Remember how you have three tickets? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have just the one, but I did oh, cut out. Your, oh, yours says admit one? Yeah, it just says admit one. I think that's what mine says, too. Or and does it one ticket? other thing that I cut, well, I cut out gears and stuff. But the other thing I'm kind of excited about figuring out is I took some very thin cardboard and I'm going to try to make cabinet cards. So I have the oh, frame yeah. of it and I have this part of it. And I don't know exactly how I'm going to work it yet. And I do have that die cut that's from Tim. I think it's Tim Holtz that has um, bolts and uh, a little fan. It's a, it's an industrial gear ones. I think I'm going to cut out bolts because you said, mm -hmm. uh, I think when I was doing the purse that bolts. Oh, and I found these. See, I'm going to go on for others forever. Sorry, sweetie. Okay. Um, Remember the remember these uh, these have and I figure the purse is thick enough, but I, look at that, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of what I was thinking, something like yeah. that. Well, yeah, I have those too, but but there are some. I know I've seen. Um, I'm sure you probably don't have any because otherwise you would have found them already. But I have <laughs> um, what do you call those? Uh, Brad's. That look Brad, like that. Yes. Oh, they do have them with the screw top, don't they? Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I should I look don't, for those. I, I don't might have them someplace, but I, I'll have to search because I'm not sure. Isn't but that I, the hardest thing? I have these are rings. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. And then it has the bolt. So I'm probably going to put one of these on there for to hang something. I'm not mm -hmm. sure. But so mm -hmm. I have those are my metals that I have. But um, oh, I'm gonna have to. I gotta check something real quick. There we go. There we go. My uh, cord wasn't plugged into the, so it started to go dim. I'm like, what? <laughs> Can't do that. Right in the middle of something here. So, but yeah, I figured. And then I have this this assortment. Same thing, just different, a little bit different colors. Oop, where there's the copper oh, in there. Yeah. I love those things. I've used those for so many different things. Yes. Closures and stuff. Closures, especially, they really make a nice closure for um, that style when you want that rustic look. Now, I want to put tabs on some of my pages, but I have to really be careful 
because they can't stick out too far. If they stick out farther than this, I'm in trouble. So that's, I guess that's going to be my guide because that's as far as I can go because of the way this works. Because it's going to be like this. And right. I, can't, I can't go past here or it's going to smush it. So. Well, see, that's where I'm at with this one. So oh, I'm yeah. going to put Same some thing. up here. I figured I could put yeah. shallow ones at the top just for just for filler and decoration because there's just not enough room to really. Yeah, I thought about putting them at the top and the bottom too, but I don't know. I haven't decided. I mean, I've already got this one sticking out because I didn't think about it before I stuck it down. Yeah. So, but that's my limit. So I that's pretty good limit though. That's at least. Oh, I don't think there's it. anything wrong with that. Yeah. I mean, if it was lace, happen. it might be a little bit difficult. But if you're using paper tabs or no, I'm gonna. I think I'm. Well, I think I'm gonna mostly use paper tags on him anyway. Yes. I'm not sure about her. She's gonna get a little bit frillier, I think. Yeah. And I came up with a new idea yesterday that I'm really liking. I think I'm gonna see in the middle of. I've just almost decided that I'm gonna do them both in in the classification folder. Oh yeah. But in the middle, usually I have a pocket here and then something goes in there. Usually it's a small folio with mm -hmm. tags and stuff in it. But I want to get as much, I want to use as much of my signature space as I can. Right. I don't want to be limited as much there. So I think what I'm what I've come up with, I think I'm gonna create a handwritten letter <gasps> in an envelope. And I'm trying to decide if it's going to be romantic or what, because I'm thinking, even though the same people won't probably have these journals at the end, it still would be cool to, you know, give them a name and um, do a letter. And maybe it'll be about, oh, we're going, we have a, a excursion to go on a balloon trip or something. I don't know. And then I could stick a map in there or something. I don't know. But that's, that's percolating. I'm kind of you excited know, about that. Years ago, um, I found a site, and I don't know if it's available anymore, um, that will translate English into French, and then you can print it out, and it is oh. gorgeous. So you mm. might, because uh, I've done it uh, for, um, I did it for Italian also for when I was making kits with the Chabella, and they had uh, the whole, you know, Italian feel. So I would go translate words into Italian and then have them print. It, it just, it just added that international kind of mystery to it but there's so many different oh i love the idea of a letter i think that is just fabulous well i figured it would give me a chance to practice my calligraphy <laughs> nah, that's a good idea I practice my copper plate which isn't very good but i still like to do it so it's kind of fun wow. well and practice is what keeps you going keeps you in the you know in the groove of it keeps your flow going it takes it takes it really takes daily practice and I don't do it. So I know I can so I like, but I like to I like to play with it once in a while. The, you the are a jack of all trades, aren't you? Oh, too many. Um, the trick would be to get the whole page done without making a big terrible mistake. Yes. <laughs> the trick. Yeah. I mean I could write it all, I could write page fulls, but I <laughs> it's gonna be a blob or a word wrong or something wrong, you know. <laughs> Oh, so that'll be something I have to do by myself when I can concentrate. <laughs> yeah. But that's my idea rolling around. I'm still thinking on it. I was, I'm trying to think of some of the things I was thinking about idea. first. I was really excited when I finally got the, the pin holder to work the way I wanted it to. Oh, I yeah. haven't found a pin yet in my stash, so I'm going to have to look for one outside of it because I don't want it to to not work right. But I am excited about all these things. And I think that's going to come into this layering with some of this embossing stuff. And then I have, I found one that I had made a long time ago, this little, little tiny notebook journal oh, thing. That's made. Cute. So I thought I'd incorporate that and maybe make some more. Yeah. Just, uh, just different things. And then I could hang little, um, you know, metal, metal tassels off of the top or and I found my black eyelash lace a big batch of it so I can put a bunch of little black pops on things to fluff it up a bit it's it's a it's a process isn't it it's just all well it's it's like a it's like a big snowball because for me anyway the longer I think about things the more ideas I see and the more things that I'm looking at in the in the meantime whether it's related or not it always gives me ideas. So mm -hmm. I have 
more ideas all the time than I can really, usually, than I can really use. Because, I mean, you know, these books are only so big. Exactly. How many, how many steampunk journals will I do? Who knows? But, you know, yeah. right now it's just two. So I can only fit so much in there. And, exactly. um, and you know, the other thing, too, is if I was keeping it for myself, mm -hmm. I could do so many things and it would be worth it to me if i'm if i'm making something that eventually will be sold you kind of have to think about that yes you know, i i try not to think about it too much but i have to think about it a little bit you know is if i work on this for three months is it going to be worth it you know oh i i understand yeah, it's i know so most of the time I just, I think about that and then I just ignore it and do whatever I want to do. <laughs> <laughs> I end up making two journals at a time because <laughs> ideas. and they're, they're usually not that new of an idea, but they're my, you know, they're just what I'm thinking of at the time. All right. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to put a few of these gears on a couple of pages. I don't know. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and do my, Airbrushing. Let this dry. These are done. These gears are really cool. They they absolutely are. They turned out fantastic. My gears mm -hmm. are completely different. I have like large ones, and uh, and then a strip of ones, and some small ones. Like this little batch here is a kind of an odd little collection. I don't know. Mm -hmm. gonna, I like that. Yeah, I'm gonna. Is that a die cut you've got? Yeah, this was this is a small die cut. I if I'm like if I had a, a, a complement or a contrasting color, I might could there we go, I could layer up on it, but otherwise mm -hmm. yeah, I like that. Yeah. Well, I thought you had the same one as me, but you don't. Yours is no, no, nope, it's I've been grabbing them through the years. It wasn't a big focus of mine. I mean, I, I like steampunk and I certainly love to look at what people make, but I hadn't done a whole big uh without without the paper pack to to say hey this is definitely you know you need to throw this or that in there i hadn't gone on my own like i am on, on this one this one is just more of my imagination than it is following a paper pack but, well, i'm going to set these aside for now because some of those are going to be in clusters and i don't really want to use them yet until i've used all the ones i want in clusters first so Put these all side, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna do some stenciling on her on the lady book. I'm trying to think what her name's gonna be. Oh, that's a good idea. I thought of something last night, and I've already forgot what it was. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Yeah, I really recommend if you use if you like gold touches on things. Mm -hmm. These are really nice. I like them a lot. Yeah, I am definitely going to check them out because I I have, um, I think I like that. I think I might put that there. And then I was trying to think if maybe I wanted to layer up with one of these or not. But, okay, so I've got to decide. I don't have a clue, actually, how I want to make these cabinets. This is a, a die. A, I want to say Tim Holtz. I think everything's Tim Holtz, though, probably. So, but uh, you can use the frame and the inside, supposedly, in different ways. I don't know. My brain just can't function with that right now. So I'm going to finish what I was doing. Yeah. You won't believe what I did. Go ahead. You won't believe what I did yesterday after after uh, what Kamal was doing. The did you watch that uh, video that uh, stream I did yesterday about the airbrushing? Yes, yes. I commented under. I was so excited. I thought, oh, oh crud, that. now you now you're making me want to buy one. <laughs> well, during the whole thing, you know, you did you realize how worried I was I was gonna knock something over and spill it? Yeah. <laughs> well, I did. After I was oh. all cleaned up and I was oh, no. inside, I dumped this whole bottle over on my brand new mat. Oh and, um it mostly came up, but I was I was so ticked at myself. After working so hard not to dump those over, I just dumped it right over. Oh, I would have done the same thing. And that's the kind of thing I do. Oh, I do. Oh. So I've got these stencils that I've had for a million years. Because I used to do a lot of um, stenciling on wood and, and decorating and what have you. Some of them are big and some of them are 
teeny tiny. Where'd it go? Oh, here they are. Some of them are teeny tiny ones. So I'm going to use these to stencil the backgrounds on Miss Lady's pages. Oh, too many things. Okay, I can go there. So. I'm going to just try to get some of this stuff out. And like I said, I have not um, inked her pages at all yet. So. But I sure do um, like the way his came out. Yes, that's gorgeous. It really, really is amazing. And I, I um, would have never thought... Like if I, I don't know, maybe if I had had one here, you know, a, a, um, a uh, airbrush, but I've never used one. I've always wanted to. I always felt like, oh, that would be inspiring. But then it's like, okay, you buy it. And then what are you going to do with it after that? Melody? Right. I'm with yeah. it for a few minutes, but really mm -hmm. justify that. <laughs> well, I did look it up and you can get these for less than $50. Wow. So I've even seen a couple of them for like 35 and um, I think mine was around 60, this this makeup airbrush. Uh -huh. They call them makeup or nail airbrushes. Yeah. And um, I think mine was around 60, but it came with all the makeup. So, you know, that was a little different. But, uh, yeah, that definitely. We'll turn this light back on. Okay. All right. Where's my center here? I'm going to figure out where I'm at. <laughs> it's hard to... Um, you get used to one spot because you have the whole screen and it's hard to adjust to another little spot. I guess I could move that. Where's my, let me see if I can do that for myself. So it's in the right spot. Uh, oh, so I geez. used this uh, vintage silk, the alchemy, the um, art alchemy on that brown. And that's that uh, print. Oh, that's pretty. And so I'm hoping that I was one, trying to do like. Now, did, did you use that uh, embossing plate with one of those frames? I, I cut the frame out. I cut the um, piece out first and then I put it through the embosser. But did you do it with one of those frames, one of those cabinet frames? Oh, this one? Did you emboss that or is that cut out? No, that this is just paper. That the uh, the weather one that you just laid down, that embossing plate, yeah. is that, that would be beautiful on a frame. Yes, it would. That's a great idea. It would look really pretty on a frame. Okay. All right. I'm going to make a little bit of noise. Okay. I'll Not too much. If it's too loud, just let me know. Oh, it'll be fine. I'm just going to jibber jabber while you're doing that. I'm going to um, share some of the different plates and things I had. This one is a is like a notebook page and I'm kind of excited about it. I don't know if it could be actually written on, but it's oh my gosh. Isn't that kind of fun? I love that. Yeah, it's that size. That's the exact size. So it's a little one, but oh, uh, I like it. and I had two or three different gears, which I need to brighten up so that we can see them. Let me grab one of these and then just bring up all the gears that we can see. Now, I'm not going to go through explaining about this airbrush all over again. If no. somebody wants to know about that, they can just go to my um, my channel and um, they'll see it. Yeah. Any of the things, uh, the, um, the folder she's using to make her covers is something you can go to her channel. She has um, tutorials on how to put those together the way she does. And... Uh, the airbrush, which I think, guys, if you have one, you better get it out and use it. There's that. I'm not going to go as heavy on hers as I did on his, I don't think. Yeah. I, I did learn that... Um, some of this, uh, like this digital, digi papers that um, are printed all over, mm -hmm. sometimes the ink kind of has a tendency, especially if you get it too thin. As I was cutting this um, uh, distress ink, 
refill. I was cutting it with water and I, I got it down as thin as I could, you know, because I didn't want to waste it. Right. But if it gets if it gets too thin, it'll beat up more. So if you just, you know, if I just take it like this and see that one didn't pick up any. So I, I did add some to it so it wouldn't be so thin. And I think it's working better. But if it beads up, you can just dab it off. Yeah. Yeah. There was an image of a pe of a peacock in one in one of on one of those pages, and so I had a die cut. Oh, that. Wow, you got that. some neat, uh, you got some neat ones. I I was collecting them for a while. I literally anytime I seen anything that was either on sale or clearance or Zoom or whatever. Uh, J O O M is where I shop. Usually, I don't shop Wish as much because I actually got my credit card stolen on Wish. The number got being used in China, so I am I'll only go through and purchase overseas through PayPal. So yeah. like, it'll start out PayPal, but then I'm actually paying through my account. That's the only way I'll I'll do it with them anymore after that. Yeah, I, I do that with everything. Yep. Our credit card's been scammed so many times; it's ridiculous. You know. After a while, you get tired of having to get a new credit card. Oh, definitely. Well, I had complete full-on identity theft last year in October. Federal case because it went from Mexico to California to Portland, and it just, it was crazy. They a took years, my, huh? A couple years ago, somebody filed income tax returns <gasps> with my husband's name and some other woman's name. <laughs> that was a mess. I mean, you got to do police reports and all kinds of stuff. I know. And the thing is, is that, you know, as, as if it's not stressful enough, the time that it takes to try to salvage. Oh, yeah. The and time you never, is never ridiculous. feel safe again. Yeah. My husband and I will never feel safe again. We just are like, OK, remember, we got to do this. Yes. Right. I know we can't do anything the easy way anymore. Yep. But, but I've found I haven't really had too much trouble since I started doing um everything through i still use a credit card but it's through paypal mm -hmm, exactly and then, um our our bank is very good about they'll put a hold on our card if they see something that looks unusual because it's been it's been taken so many times you know? so anytime yeah. we're going out of state or out of country or anything i have to remember to call them otherwise we'll go to get gas and it'll be like sorry your card doesn't work <laughs> <laughs> but I don't complain. I really don't complain. I know. That. I know. I can only imagine. Oops. I'm thinking what I'm doing here. Let's see how this looks. Let's see how it looks. You never know until you try. Yeah, I'm not, that's too dark. I don't want it that dark. That red? I don't mind the red. I just don't want it that, I want it real light. Yeah, translucent. It'll, it's okay. I just would rather have it real light. So I need to do that. Let me try another one to see if I can get it real light. Try something that's not glued up yet. Just really light. And those roses are beautiful. That's more like what I want. See, so it's just real pale. Yeah. All I have to do is just back up really far from it. Yeah. And uh, keep the pressure low and then it'll it'll just be 
barely on there. And this, of course, could be done with a brush or something. So I don't have the paints like you do, but I have these um, metal, uh, what is it? It's a pen that writes gold that's- Oh yeah. It doesn't say if it's enamel, but I have some that are enamel and some that probably aren't. But I'm just gonna wing it on some of these things and see what I can do. Well, I look like I'm and having a, something wrong with me. <laughs> All this red paint looks like blood. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I had a bloody nose is what it looks like. <laughs> I'm still kind of experimenting with hopes that the page will be usable here. So, you know. Yeah, no, I know. That's what some people don't realize when they start this is that not everything you do is going to look like what's in your mind and you just got to not uh, distress about it. You know, you got to know that you'll either just keep going and get where you want or maybe it'll go another direction sometimes. That's what's happened to me. So I had too much red in there, that's for sure. Let's see. Red is so strong, and these paints are so vibrant that um, it overtakes, you know, I put that brown in there and the red just overtook it, and there wasn't really that much left in there. Yeah. So, yeah, you have, to, you have to understand how your paints work, that's for sure. Well, that's what I was uh, learning with the jelly plate, is some of them are translucent and thin and watery, and then some of them are pasty and very opaque and, and, and you have to be patient to figure out how they, to get them to blend together sometimes to create what you're looking to do. Right. It's the same thing with glue though. You have to understand what, what your glue needs are and what glue you have to do it. Mm-hmm. Well, this is look, I'm liking the way this looks, so I'm happy I'm doing it. Good. It is beautiful. Let's do a little bit in here, blend it in. Now I'm like 10 inches away spraying that on. So, you know, you have a lot of choices. Okay, I like that. It looks, looks pretty nice. The thing I was concerned about was I don't want my pages to look too fake. You know, I mean, obviously they look fake anyway. I mean, it's really hard to, to um, um, what am I trying to say? It's hard to ink your pages thinking that they're going to look natural, right? Like naturally aged. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult to do that. I mean, you're going to see something that tells you that's not real. So I'm not too worried about it, but I don't want it to look blatant, you know, like some yeah. Took a paintbrush and stripped something across it. So. Well, um, sometimes you can tell how much effort's been put into something, and I I, uh, I advocate a lot for layers. What people don't sometimes understand is how you get what you're getting is through layers. So sometimes if you don't like something you see right away, keep layering. You know that may yeah. be what your project needs is just more layers. Yeah, and sometimes if there's something that I've worked on a quite a bit and I get to the end and I think, I really just don't like this. It's not too often that I can't turn it around. I mean, it happens. Yeah. But even if it means I'm going to cut it up into little pieces and use it on something, I can still use it. You know, it's not very often that you totally 
can't use something. I have found in my art journal, though, that there are pages I glued together because I was just totally disgusted. <laughs> I can't do anything else with this. It's goner. <laughs> no. <laughs> so I have to admit that. But yeah, I like the way that looks. I'm really happy with that. Okay. And I think I'm going to bring this one back and doctor it up a little bit, and then I think it will be okay, too. I think I better order some more distress ink refill. I have another new bottle plus, oh, maybe a third of a bottle, but it goes fast <laughs> with this. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's diluted quite a bit with water, but still, you know, if you want it to look bright, it goes fast. Okay, that looks better. Can you hear the machine very much? Just a tiny hum. It's, oh, it's good. no problem at all. I couldn't do I couldn't do it during the stream with my big air with my big uh, compressor. Right. You wouldn't be able to hear anything. If things are so loud. Okay, so oh yeah, this goes here. Yeah. Melody, do you have any time frame that you're thinking of to be through with these? Um, you know, I I didn't, but I do know now I'm kind of excited to get on to the boho one. Not that I don't want to do, you know, like I'm really having fun with this too, but now that I've kind of decided, well, after this, I do want to start a boho situation because I have a lot of stuff that I need to work with on that too. But I, I'm, I'm open. What do you think? I don't know. That's I'm just trying to decide how much to do off camera. Oh, and definitely so. feel free because there's always lots of, uh, uh, you know, details and ephemera and fussy work that we'll always have. So feel free to. Do what you want off camera unless it's something that you want to show a technique or something. That's the only thing that I would say as far as, you know, what gets done on camera or off camera. Okay. That's what I've been kind of doing. It's like I'm doing some stuff, but I, I just don't know that I need to show every bit of what I'm doing. So I uh, do some of it. And then like the cover for the Mixed Media Wednesday or, you know, Wild Wednesday, I thought, oh, I got to. People are going to ask me probably how you know, this or that, and I'm going to go, oh, I didn't tape it. So. For the what? Oh, the purse. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I could have done that without being on camera or in here, oh, but no, I... I'm glad you did, because I wanted to see how those uh, metallics work. Good, good, because that, that's a... I've done that many, not many, many times, but like, here, let me show you something. I do these types of things. So I take a bunch of junk, and I glue it onto things, and oh. then I, so that I do. I that's why all those those uh, stuff are so half empty and stuff. Because this I used to do this uh -huh. a lot. This would be my therapy. This would be like some people's glue books. I would just glue, and I would collect all this stuff from garage sales and the bins mm -hmm. and Goodwill. I have you know, and that's why I buy the junk jewelry the way I do. And but I'd like to get back to that someday too. But I just like I like turning things into little things into a bigger thing, I guess. That's why I love yeah. drumming. <laughs> mm -hmm. What I'm doing here is taking little things and put, making them into a bigger thing. So now this one, I'm thinking I'll put a pocket near her. Where did she go? Where did it go? It's right here. So if I put a pocket here and I have the, I think that'll work out. Leave the color in that. Okay, so there's one. I have the envelope done, and then I'm probably going to try to decide. These just, I'm not feeling them the way I thought I would. I mean, I made a ton of them because I thought, oh my gosh, I'll just put these every every three, every oh, third. I think I'm going to make a, a really nice envelope myself. But... Yeah. I, I, I got a little fear of the layering on these, and 
then I haven't done my my um oh, what it, what do you call them in inzies edges edges edgy clusters they're really just clusters I call them edges <laughs> see you know. I have no place to lay anything that I need to lay aside. That's the problem. I need another whole table over here. <laughs> okay, I'm liking the way that I'm liking the way that looks. Yeah, that one turned out okay. It's a little darker than I wanted, but it's still it's still pretty. This one, where did this one go? It's probably a little cut a little um like I have the the distress. I put mica powder in um, alcohol ink or alcohol with inks. Spray a light mist on that. That'll tone down that red if you decide you, you want to tone it down. I think um, I did spray it more with the um, oh good yeah vintage photo and it toned it down. I think enough. Perfect. You know I like I like color, so it's, I can't complain too much about it. I guess. <laughs> What I can't find is I have a stack of digis that I printed out with roses and stuff on them. I don't know where I've laid them. I couldn't find these stencils forever. I finally found them right before we started this morning. They were just oh, yeah. laying, right, laying right where I left them. Of course. We have plans for Easter? Well, you know, we've kind of been, um, I got exposed two Sundays ago to COVID. Oh, that's right. I remember you telling yeah. me that. There have been, oh, I don't know, six or seven people at church who have been sick. We didn't go last week. I'm pretty sure we're not going to go Sunday. And I think our kids are coming over. They've all had it. And yeah, we don't have any, any, um, what do you call it? High risk. Huh? No. Oh, I was thinking high risk, but. No, we don't. Well, I'm really high risk, supposedly, but we don't have any symptoms is what I was trying to say. Oh, okay, yeah. And um, so I think they're going to come over and visit. But I don't think we're going to go to church. Yeah, my husband and I haven't decided. My daughter, my older daughter was... Um, asking me she has three little girls and and I said I don't know my mom and dad are coming back they're snowbirds they go down to Arizona when it gets cold and I feel like well what if I contract COVID right before they come home it's just yeah, yeah. yeah. I swear sometimes yeah. I don't know if I'll build the win or lose with this COVID thing I know and I've actually been tested three times if you can look <sighs> that that's um, painful. I got tested once. Yeah, once because I I had a lot of symptoms. I really thought it was just my regular sinus problems, you know. Mm -hmm. But I, I felt like I needed to be tested just to be sure because of for other people's sake. Mm -hmm. So I was tested that time. And then I had a colonoscopy. So I had to be tested then. And then there was another, the kids all got sick. So then I got tested then. And um, my husband or I, neither one. Have, as far as we know, have had it. I, sometimes I kind of wonder, maybe we already had it and just don't realize it. Because you know that can happen if you're some, if you're um, if you if you're not if it's not severe, right? You can't have it and just think it's a regular thing. And mm -hmm. I have so many sinus and bronchitis and that kind of stuff situations every year that it you know I'm thinking it could have could have already had it. Who knows? Mm -hmm. But um, either that or maybe I'm immune. Who knows? But he's yeah, out every there day. People. Yeah, he's out every day delivering equipment. And, um, you know, he comes in contact with all kinds of people. He hasn't got it yet. So I don't know. Okay, now let's see.
do that. Sometimes if you have a lot of choices, it's hard to choose stuff. Yes. Yeah. Now. How this is going to look, and I'll try some teal color for this page. Oh, yeah, this the um airbrush you're going to do with teal, yeah, that'll be cool. Now, I could get real for snickety and really do color blocks on this, but I'm just doing it this one whole color. I don't want to be that particular. I really, I like the way this, uh, the Spectralite paints work really well. Liquid acrylics, they work really well. I don't have to thin them or anything. That's cool. I could use any acrylic paint. I could use the Americana paints if I wanted to, but they have, oh. to, be, they have to be the right consistency. So that's just another thing you have to do to mess mm -hmm. with it. You know? So I right. remember, see if I can get this. The papers are poofing up on me. So I, I'm happy that these are working so well. Do you remember, I'm, you know, Sarah Munson? Uh-huh. She, I bought some, uh, I bought something from, I bought some of the paper. The stuff that you, you've seen this, right? I bought the same thing. I love is it. Isn't it gorgeous? I well, can't remember I have, how detailed it is. It's amazing. I just oh, like oh that's pretty. Huh? I said this turned out pretty. <gasps> oh, I like that. Now it's it's a little speckly, but I really like it. It makes a it makes a pretty one hold it up close so you can see what I mean. If it'll fall there. See how speckly that is? Wow. But I really like how it looks. That's pretty much perfect for what I want. Yeah. Okay. Yay. I love it when things work. Like I know. I want, huh? Like I want them to. Yeah, I'm real happy with the way this is working. That's what I thought of it. I thought about doing it before, but I hadn't tried it. I hadn't taken it out and tried it. So I'm glad I decided to this time. It's fun how a new project can just bring out all kinds of inspiration. Yep. Well, you know, makes you think about things, concentrate on things, and if you do that, then you always get a lot more ideas. You mold something over. Yeah. Needed to get back in my journaling group, my journal making group. I'd kind of gotten a little slack on it. Slack you have on a group? 
zip, um, uh, what did I say? Groove is what I said. Oh, groove. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. It's that same way with me. I, I didn't make a journal this year until I made the hashtag Doya Blue one. Yeah. And I uh, hadn't done any since uh, December. I had some started, and those are the ones I recently finished. I had sewing journal and two forest, I call them forest journals. I look how pretty that is. Oh, wow. That pop of color is fabulous. And I still want to put a, a rose right here as soon as I find them. Get out my. Everything's buried. <laughs> uh, me too. And oh, my, my problem is, is I don't I don't do well at cleaning up between projects. <laughs> well, it depends for me. If I'm gonna come back and do the same thing, then I will clean it up a little bit and and then leave it. But mm -hmm. if it's I'm gonna be if I'm totally done with something, I try to clean it up a little bit. It helps me to, to think of it like, okay, my husband's gonna come down here and look at this and, and oh yeah. Okay. That helps me. It helps me to straighten it up. I couldn't pay my husband to come down here with because of the way that it is. And he just yeah. uh, he used to come down here with me quite a bit in the early days. Mine has and, to come uh, through here to get to his side of the basement. So he has to pass by. Oh, you're sharing a spot. Just, yeah, I think maybe he just covers his face or something, you know, so he doesn't <laughs> see it. I'm looking for something else to use this ink this paint on before I change colors because it's on, I might have to get a different envelope or something. Oh. I'll just do that. Why am I dripping? Oh, because of that. Time to clean it a little bit because it's starting to get drippy. And splattery. Look at all those splatters. Just... Now I've Ooh. done I've done um, side pockets was what I would have called it. But there's my first edgy, and I put it next to the one that has the um, peacock, and then I can put the thing. Yeah. The journal card I just made in the back of the journal card is the blue. Uh -huh. So we have uh, nice. the edgy, the journal card, and then all all cord coordinating with that. So there's my first That's kind of cute. all together. Very cute. All right, I'm going to have to stop and clean this because it's getting too nasty. So. When the paint builds up, it, it doesn't spray correctly. Yeah. And it's built up. I'm just rinsing the paint out that was left in there. And then I'll clean the tip and then I should be able to go on. Well, um, yesterday, you know, we're waiting to see if we're going to get a new puppy. Oh, that's right. And today is the due date. But, you know, of course, just like people, they don't come necessarily on the due date. Right. So yesterday, yesterday, I told the breeder, I said, I feel like an expectant grandparent, you know, <laughs> waiting for the puppy, waiting for the baby to come, waiting for the puppy to come to see if we get one, because we don't really know if we get, if we get one. It depends on how many male uh, uh, females she has. Right. She has a couple of them. They were already promised. So, um, so we're kind of waiting for that, and I keep forgetting. Even if we find out that we get one, we, we don't get it for, oh, I just got water all over me. We don't, <laughs> now we're, sorry, close your eyes. <laughs> we, even, even if we find out that we get one, as soon as it's born, it's going to be nine weeks before we actually get the puppy, you know. Right. So, so anyway, I told her I felt like an expectant grandparent. And she sent back to me. Um, she said she was she had just finished prepping the mom, shaving her tummy and stuff, you know. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's time! 
she says, no, 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 not yet. She said, we're just getting her ready. You know? <laughs> I'm about to freak out. Said, it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> oh, my goodness. goodness. I'll tell you the joys in the world. You know, we had uh, four Scott. Well, we, we ended up with four Scottish Terriers, but we had the two Scottish Terriers and um, the the female, she got pregnant and she had her babies under the desk in our bedroom. And oh. we laid on the floor that night and waited. Yeah. It was, it was a really, truly beautiful experience for my husband and I. We didn't, we didn't have children together. We got into our relationship and I have two daughters that he's helped me raise, but so we kind of we kind of uh, raised those. We kept two of them out of five, and and we had a family. We had the mom and dad and and two babies, and we, they lived out their whole lives. We just I think it was five years ago the last one passed, hmm. and uh, that's the thing though. You know, my husband and I have been talking about it a lot lately because I don't know why we've been thinking so much about the Scotty. So that was a whole like thirteen years, right? You know, chunk of our life that everything revolved around raising the kids uh the dogs and mm -hmm. and everything it, it just become a part of your family and a part of your life you exactly know? exactly really and I, when we lose them you yeah. mourn them just just as much oh my gosh yes i i had to put our last one she was 15 and i had to have her put to sleep and it it wasn't planned i mean we knew she was sick and we knew that we were going to have to deal with it because <clears throat> 15 is a pretty normal lifespan for a schnauzer, miniature schnauzer. Yeah. And um, we had talked about it. My husband said, I just, he said, I can't be there. He said, I can't be there when it happens. So I had just taken her to, now this is going to be sad. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> I had just taken her to get her shots, you know, her yearly mm -hmm. shot. And um, she was diabetic. She had been diabetic for like two years. So our schedule pretty much revolved around getting her fed at the right times and getting her insulin and all this insulin twice a day and all that. Mm -hmm. And if she wouldn't eat, then you couldn't give her the insulin because that would kill her right off, you know. Mm -hmm. So it was quite a struggle. And she hadn't been eating well. She'd lost quite a bit of weight, more than I even realized when I took her to the vet. And um, she was, he told me she, she was, if she wasn't blind, she was so close to it that she couldn't really know the difference, you know, and that she had a mass in her chest. Oh, no. and when he told me that, I, I understood it because she had been, she had fallen down the steps twice, the basement steps twice. And I just panicked, you know, mm -hmm. um, see me, I was still working and I could just see coming home from work and She'd be at the bottom of the steps dead, you know. I just couldn't imagine it. But um, he said, you know, she she's not going to be around very much longer. And she was still pretty happy and um, knew what was happening and stuff. You know, she wasn't, like, sick where she couldn't get up or anything, but she was sick. Mm -hmm. And he said the mass, you know, in her chest was the big thing. So I made the decision, you know, I asked him, I said, well, if this was your animal, what would you do? And he told me, I said, well, I think that's what we're going to do. And my husband just happened to be on a trip. So he wasn't around. Right. And yeah. he didn't know what was going to happen. So I was going to wait till he got home to tell him, you know, because I didn't want to interfere with his concept because he was uh, driving a tour bus. So I didn't want to interfere with that. Mm -hmm. but I couldn't, I couldn't, I, the more I thought about him coming home and her being gone, I just couldn't do it. So I finally had to call and tell him. And uh, when he came home, we just both sat there and cried, you know, <laughs> it was, and we still do sometimes. And that's, yes. been, that's yeah. been, uh, five years ago now. So it's, yeah. uh, it's difficult. It took us two years to decide to get another, another dog, you know? Yeah. yeah. So now we're going to have two. <laughs> I need another dog. Huh? I really don't, but she needs a friend. So that's, and that's what happened to us. We got the one dog and I told Jim, I'm like, she's, she's, she's bored. She's lonely. We need yeah. to get another dog. So we went and found a little rescue pup. And then, um, unfortunately Molly passed last July or June and, it just, we, it was so unexpected and 
you know, it's just one of those things, like you say, it's just, it does affect your life. But I try to look at it over and over and over that uh, to love and law and lose is better than to never love at all. Yeah. Well, I still call Bella Maggie sometimes. Oh, yeah. And so does Don. <laughs> you know, it's <laughs> just something after they're with you for 15 years from the time they're a baby, it's just just ingrained i guess yeah so poor bella she gets called everything first <laughs> i'll call her i'll call her uh, maggie then i'll call her olivia who's my granddaughter and i'll call her <laughs> Rachel, my daughter and finally i'm like well bella whoever you are come over here <laughs> but she's she's a good little girl i'm excited for her to have a buddy yeah that's going to be so fun well, Deb, it's getting to be where we should probably say goodbye, and then um, we will come back, I assume, next Friday? As far as I know. Okay, as far as we know. Sounds there'll good. be something for you to come back and see, and uh, we will have some new, new techniques to show you, some new inspirations, and we appreciate you watching our video. If you liked it, if there was something you liked, please give it a thumbs up. We would enjoy that. And go check out Deb Farrell uh, at, on YouTube, Deb Farrell, and uh, see some of the videos of her tutorials of the things she's showing us here. Thank you so much, Deb, for joining me. And everybody, have an absolutely wonderful Easter. Bye-bye.